Great traders make a lot of money by leverage, but too much leverage and you get wrecked. So I'm going to show you how you can leverage with JLP and potentially make some decent gains. What we're going to be covering is NX Finance. This is something which is, it's on my radar and I'm going to be very, very transparent with everything I'm talking about. Essentially, I think it's worth getting into, but there is still some stuff that I want clarified from the team in the future. At present, NX Finance allows you to take JLP or another asset and then to borrow USDT, swap it for JLP and leverage it up. Similar to how Communo Finance does. However, with this, they have an airdrop campaign. So that's probably worthwhile. The other thing is JLP is one of the best tokens out there. It has a remarkable ability to just keep on growing. And it has a very decent APY at over 75%, although it fluctuates, it goes up and it goes down. If you don't know about the JLP token, I've actually created a video, it will go out on Jupiter's channel, they'll go out soon, and you can go and watch that and it's well worth it. But as a quick breakdown, this has ETH, Wrap BTC, Sol, USDC, and USDT, as well as capturing 75% of the Jupes Perps Dex rewards. The Jupes Perps Dex hasn't been going for very long and it's already generated over $100 million in fees and 75% goes back to the token. So if you're not interested in NX Finance, fine. But JLP, I think, should definitely be on your radar, not financial advice. I'm going to quickly show you how to do this and then I'll tell you about any potential risks. So we just go to nxfinance.io. Go ahead, connect your wallet. If you're using Backpack, you get a 10% boost. I'm using Soulflare. That's my preferred wallet. You do whatever you want. Now here we can use JLP, Jupesol or VSOL in order to add as collateral, borrow USDT, swap it to JLP and basically leverage up. I've already got a position open here and because I've already got a JLP position here, I can't add Jupesol. You have to use another wallet, which you can set up if you want to. But personally, I think JLP into USDT is the best system. So what we'll do here is we'll go either to Jupiter or we'll go into Soulflare. I'm going to take some USDC and I'm going to go and buy some more JLP. Swap here, change this, JLP, and I'm going to go grab like $300 worth. Swap and confirm. Transactions complete. This doesn't update. They are a small team, they're still building. I did have a lengthy chat with the founder, Timmy, today. I am quite excited for the app, but I do want a little bit more transparency in the future. Let's see if this has come through yet. Yep, we're good. All right, max. And then essentially, we can leverage it up. Now, this APY, it's going to be different to what you see at dupe.ag. So if you go to dupe.ag, go to the perps up the top here and click on earn, you can see currently the APY is 74%. However, it shows at a base level of nothing, 58%. And that's because if we hover over APY, it says the average APY in the last four weeks. Sometimes it's over 100, sometimes it's down to like 20 or 30. It all depends how many people are trading. I actually do prefer this APY. It's more accurate based on time if it's an average over four weeks. Now let's go ahead. We're going to add all of that. As I said, if we leverage all the way up to 5K, we're borrowing $1,190 or thereabouts, which is probably a little bit too much for what I like to do but just letting you know, you can go as high as that. Now they do actually have fees. It's not in the UI yet. And I've asked that that needs to come soon, but it's 10% of your performance fee. For comparison, Camino Finance is 0.5% of your borrow amount, which is quite high. This works out well for most people because the borrow rate is actually quite a bit less than what Camino's is. So let's go ahead and let's move this down. I'm gonna go like, like a 3X and then add and then approve. And basically we're depositing this. We're borrowing a lot more USDT because I think you can work it out, but you deposit, borrow, auto swap into JLP, deposit it again, borrow and so on and so on. Only it's just done in one big transaction as opposed to just doing it manually. Now I learned quite a bit about JLP just by talking to Timmy. So I was already quite familiar, but essentially when this has dips and it has had dips in the past, of course, these dips are quite minimal. Like as an example, this dip, I think when I checked it, it was about 8% despite Sol going down like 20%, BTC went down 10%. So these are quite minimal. So I don't necessarily expect a dip to be more than say 8% or 10% in a day. Having said that, I don't want to use 5x leverage. If we do use 5x leverage, then if the price dips down by 20%, we will be liquidated. And at present, there's nothing in here which actually shows us when we're going to be liquidated. Also, this isn't something that you do for like one or two days. This is normally best to do for a few months just to build up this position. That's my opinion, not financial advice. So here I had an initial position that I used to try it out. As we can see, this is all my collateral. These are my loans. My health factor is pretty good in my opinion, and I'm okay with the unrealized profit and loss because I want to keep this here for like 30 days or 90 days. 
However, when you do want to withdraw it, just go to withdraw and then just either type in the amount or click on max and then just withdraw and it will unwind the position. As an example, we could do 50. Then we need to sign two transactions to complete the withdrawal. So as an example, this would be the first one. Prove this and then click continue. And you can see doing it instantly, we've lost a decent amount of JLP. I'll get some clarity on this. I'm still going to approve it, but this is something you want to do in my opinion for like 30 days, 90 days, or even half a year. Also, we can see our unrealized profit and loss has changed quite a bit, even though I think this is maybe a bit of a UI bug. I'm putting this on your radar nice and early because with Infinex Finance, I missed it a little bit too late, but still I wanna be early with some dApps. So you get in, you get involved, you understand what are the risks, and then we can see as a dApp improves just with time. In my opinion, being early to things is worth the risk. Now, if you click on the airdrop panel, my invite code is sebmonty. So copy that and paste that and join my team. There are lots of other things down here which get you a lot more points. So if you're a backpack user, if you have a mad lad and these roles I believe are just from Discord and whatever this one is. So these will get you more points and I'm unsure how this all works, but you may wanna either join my team or go and create your own. When you go to the airdrop panel for the first time, follow them on Twitter, join the Discord and then join my team. We've got the dashboard over here, which shows how much TVL is locked with the top addresses obviously getting a decent amount of points, my deposits, and I've got no points yet. Frequently asked questions, a little bit lacking at present, but they can be worked on. And there is a lend section here as well. So if you want to take some USDC, put in here, put in here, earn a decent APR, but still Lulo is my favorite thing for lending. I'm more concerned about this just for leverage. They're also building out other things in the future, such as leverage yield farming. Back in 2021, just for context, tulip.garden, they did this and generally it worked quite well. And over in the EVM world, you've got extra finance. They have some stuff on optimism and base. So they want to replicate those same things. Now my honest take on a few things. Firstly, Camino.finance is deemed safer because it's been around longer. It's got a large team. It's got more money. It's had more audits. So for that reason, personally, for myself, I would probably risk $1,000 in this. $1,000 is kind of my cutoff point. It might be more, it might be less for you. I don't expect there to be any issues, but when it adapts very, very new, risk whatever you're willing to lose. And by me putting this on your radar now, if anything were to happen, I don't want people to come back and be angry that they lost so much money. This is right now an airdrop opportunity, a chance to try and improve a dApp, get some decent yield, and maybe this dApp grows. Let's scroll on down to the bottom for the final thing. We've got access to Discord and the docs. If you open the docs, come up to the top, type in audit, you can see auditors. And if you open up this, this is the audit report from Slow Mist. So if we scroll on down to the bottom, we can see the audit was done in April this year. So in closing, I am using NX Finance. The team's based in Hong Kong. I do think it has product market fit. And at this stage, I'm only risking a small amount of capital. Let me know your thoughts below, but remember you have to be early to dApps in order to extract more value. That's my opinion anyway.